And after the bookmark and the reading pillow, we're going to make a book pouch so you keep your books protected when you travel. And it isn't just any pouch, it's going to be an envelope shaped one. This is going to be easy peasy. It's beginner friendly and if you know how to sew, you can have a nice little while of sewing for this project. It's really good. I'm going to leave around here a list with all the projects for reading lovers I've made. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing because I upload twice a week and that way you don't miss anything. And I leave you my Instagram account as well in case you want to have a peek. For fabrics, you can use any piece of remnant you have around. I'm going to use this cotton. It's really nice, cheap, and it gives the vibe of an envelope. And then we're going to use some of this elastic band, the rounded shape one, and a button. I'm going to use a red one just because to give it a pop of color, but you can use anything you like. How much fabric to use? Of course, it depends on the book you're going to sew it for, but take into account it's going to go horizontally and then you need three layers, three different uh, sheets. Well, it's the same one, but three sizes. So you're going to need the front, the back and another one to cover. So you're going to need three of your books in length. Vale. With my two pieces of fabric cut and interfaced, I'm going to sew them right sides together with a piece of elastic band in between. And leaving a side open, I can turn it right sides out, sew again and finish them. Okay. And now the envelope shape. Entonces, uno, dos, y el sobre. A lo mejor, muy grande, ¿no? Entonces, uno, dos, y el sobre. A lo mejor, muy grande, ¿no? Now interfacing, why do we interface? To give the fabric more structure, more, more of a body, um, but it depends on the fabric you're going to use. I'm using a thick cotton, a, a thin cotton, so I want it a bit more structure. If you're going to use something like an upholstery fabric or a sort of leather, you can do it, or maybe a thicker canvas, you can skip this step or maybe just interface one of the layers, but it depends. The problem with this kind of elastic is that they are so narrow and they're slippery and sometimes the needle doesn't get it and it can go even between stitches. So what I'm going to do to make sure I sew it properly is that I'm going to do a first seam to only one of the layers of fabric. That way I can make sure it's sewn then. then right sides together is going to have a second seam which I'm going to reinforce back and forwards and then once we put it right sides out, it's going to have a third seam. So it's going to be properly sewn, don't worry.
Now the elastic band is sewn, we can sew it all right sides together, pin it, you can pin it or you can even baste it as well if you don't feel sure about it. And then of course cutting the corners we're going to put it right size out and sew top stitch all around it. This way we finish this uh, gap where we, we used to turn it right size out and it looks really nice with all the seam all around it. So this is it and this is not going anywhere, imagine if I pull it out now. So you could leave it like this as it is, just to cover your book, sew the button and leave it as so, if I manage to do it. But you can say, well, if you change the book, if you change book sizes, it's going to slip if it's a smaller one. So let's do some side seams as well. So I'm going to simply just align it and sew right on the seam I just did to finish it. So this is the little envelope. It looks lovely, I think, and you can leave it uh, facing outwards, the new seam you just did. You can leave it as it is, or you can leave it to the inside. It doesn't really matter. And now let's make sure it fits so we can sew the button. I think it was a better idea to sew the bottom before sewing the sides together. I'm just a little guinea pig. I do it first, I do it wrong or with difficulties and then so that way you can do it faster and more efficiently with my mistakes learned. Eh? And with this, our little envelope is made. I love it. I think it looks cute. So this is how it's looking. I think it looks lovely. I love how you can use it as a uh, for wrapping uh, for in a more uh, sustainable way. And I love how you can protect your books in the in your handbag if you're going to the beach to the library, so your pages don't. Uh, a wrinkle or anything goes in there so i think it looks quite good let me know down in the comments what you thought if you're going to make one and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and to share it with someone who might like this content and i'll leave you around here a link with all the projects for people who love reading so you can make them a present as well and i'll see you on thursday bye Hola, hola, hola. ¿Qué tal la luz? Oh, qué alergia.